Hey guys, Lego Brick Man Productions here. Today I'm coming to you with a tutorial or how-to video on how I make most of my thumbnails. This is not how to get custom thumbnails since if you verify your account, you should get that ability. But this will be a video on how I make most of my thumbnails and this is using Windows Paint. So if you have a PC, you'll be able to do this. I'm sure if you have a Mac, there's something you can figure out. What you're gonna do is click on the A. That's usually the symbol for text. I have my custom color down there, but I'm just gonna go click on it again. And this is the color I use and uh, you can resize it guys. Obviously if you type in your number, it won't restrict it to all of these. Uh, but let's see, first I'm gonna write Jonathan and then you're gonna make another text box. Now, before we save it, what you wanna do is extend the bottom part as little as possible. And I actually have no explanation to why this happens, but a while back when I started uploading custom thumbnails, I noticed that whenever I did them that were just 16 by nine ratios and they're usually 1280 by 720, it would always add in a black border. So I just was thinking, why don't I just stretch it out and see what that does? So I did as little as possible and then it worked. So that's just what I do for all my thumbnails. I haven't had a problem with it. So I'll suggest you do that. If it messes it up or something, then just use the regular 16 by nine aspect ratio. Anyway, guys you can also use pixlr.com I'll put a link to that in the description below that's what I did my masking tutorial with and I'll put a link to my custom Jonathan Crane the figure tutorial in the description below as well if you guys want to check that out we are going to save as a JPEG I usually do JPEG because it doesn't take up as much space that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you Bricklaw for requesting this video and many others if you're not this is Lego Brick Fan Productions signing out